and welcome back to Willow's Notes. In today's video, we will talk about intracellular receptors. In a previous video, we saw how water-soluble hydrophilic hormones, they bind to receptors that are on the membrane of the cell. Why? Because hydrophilic molecules cannot cross the hydrophobic core of the membrane, and hence they need their receptors to be on the membrane. Whereas hydrophobic hormones, they can cross the hydrophobic interior of the membrane and they bind to their receptors that are either in the cytoplasm or in the nucleus. All the steroid hormones like estrogen, testosterone, cortisol, as well as thyroid hormones fall under this category. But not only hydrophobic hormones have intracellular receptors. There's a number of chemicals that are small enough to cross the membrane, such as nitric oxide, which is a gas and it's very small and it can easily diffuse through the membrane. As we can see here in this animation, a steroid hormone passes through the membrane and it binds to its specific receptor, which happens in this example to be in the cytoplasm. The binding of the hormone changes the shape of the receptor that now becomes an active hormone receptor complex. This complex acts as one unit and it enters the nucleus. Once in the nucleus, it acts like a transcription factor, meaning it stimulates the transcription of a specific gene into mRNA. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and is translated into a specific protein by the help of the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. Now let's answer the question of the day. Steroid hormones pass through the membrane and bind to intracellular receptors. The hormone receptor complex enters the nucleus and activates the transcription of a specific gene. Based on the image and the given information, which of the following would also take place in steroid signaling. So pause the video, read the choices, and then hit play so that we go over the answer together. I'm sure by now you all figured out that choice B is the answer. More mRNA will be produced as a result of the binding of the complex to DNA. None of the other choices make sense. I mean, choice C, it talks about DNA replication. And here we're not talking about DNA replication. Rather, we're talking about transcription and translation. Choice D is not entirely wrong because sometimes a hormone receptor complex could inhibit transcription. It's a way of turning off a gene. But the question specifically says that it activates the transcription of a specific gene. Okay, so that's why choice D cannot be the answer in this question. And this was it for today. I hope you found it easy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.